Welcome to the Green and Gold Gridiron Show. My name is Margot Morin and Chris Sheets is off today, but we have a great show for you. We're going to start it off with John Brada and Kelly Malvo playing first and goal, and then Tom Richards is going to tell us exactly what the difference is between the CFL and that other league in Football 101. Hey, for this week in uh, first and goal, we're here with Kelly Malvo. Kelly, what do you want to go for first? Uh, four point question. Let's ease myself into it. Okay, perfect. Who do you ask for after dialing 8675 309? 8765? Oh. I, I, I know the song, but I, I'm trying to. Is that Jenny's Girl? It's Jenny. Jenny's Girl! The wrong song. Oh, I don't know. Close enough. Oh, I don't know. You, you kept your toe in, you caught the ball and kept your toe in. Okay, there it is. So I got first and uh, second to go on the six? Yeah, what do you want to go for? Well, we're going for it on third down regardless. Keep it easy. No, I'll, I'll go for a six point question. You go for go. six? Okay, and kick it up one. Okay. What walks downstairs alone or in pairs? Walk downstairs alone or in pairs? Comes from a commercial. Makes a something sound. Oh, it's like You got it. <laughs> That's it. That was the best yard. Let's give it. Hi, I'm Tom Richards with Football 101. This week, I'd like to talk a little bit about the differences between the CFL and the NFL. Canadian Football League and what I like to call the non football league. It's just not as exciting. We got 12 guys up here in the Canadian game, 11 guys on the field in the American game. Why? Americans are odd. I don't know. It's a little, it's a strange thing. We have a bigger field. They got a small field. We got 100 by 65 yards, 110 by 65 yards. They have 100 by 53 and a half. Again, we'll go back to that odd thing. I have no idea why. Three downs in Canadian football to make it first down. Four in the U.S. Why? I think they need it. They're just not as good. One versus zero. How far you got to be back off the line of scrimmage on the defense? Zero in the U.S. because they're big, heavy guys that really can't move that, that far that fast. It's unfortunate. Uh, overtime, it's exciting in the CFL. Something happens both sides. Overtime in the NFL, it's just who wins the coin toss wins the game. It's just not as exciting. CFL, definitely a better game. Might be a little biased, okay. To learn more about Football 101, go to asks.com. Normally, when you think of football players, you're thinking of big, strong, manly men. Well, this week in Out of Bounds, we've taken two of the Eskimos' toughest, Maurice Lloyd and Keatwana Jones, and pampered them. This is the first in a two-part series of Mo and KJ's Day at the Spa. Check it out. It's time for another edition of Out of Bounds. We're here at the Peaches and Cream Salon with Keatwana Jones and Maurice Lloyd. How excited are you for this spa day? Very excited. I cannot wait to be rubbed. Good deal. And we're going to start off with the hot stone massage. Have you ever had that before? No, I haven't, but I'm ready. <laughs> All right. Well, here's to Peaches and Cream Salon and our spa day. Hey, hey. Hey, don't video, don't video date this video. I feel like comfortable. Come on, bro. Woo-hoo! <laughs> 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 hey, man. That was longer. Yeah. Yeah, man. Boy, you didn't do <laughs> Will you be coming back on a daily basis? I'm surely thinking about it right now. <laughs> so I'm sure the uh, Rough Riders never sent you for massages, huh? Never, 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 ever. And I bet you're pretty happy that you're with us now? Happy is not the word. <laughs> I think when I signed on February 16th, I was happy. Now I'm getting a massage, I'm past happy. Pretty cool to come here with your teammate and your head coach. It was a wonderful thing that I came here with these guys, definitely Coach Hall. And now, look at what I get. Are you going to negotiate this in your contract? Good idea, <laughs> huh? 
I think, I think I may have to do that. <laughs> I think I may have to get that in my contract. Thank you for the idea. <laughs> How do you enjoy being in Edmonton other than getting massages and et cetera? I love being in Edmonton. Um, playing ball here, I know like this is one of the best cities to be. It's just great that I actually live here now. I'm enjoying it a lot. Definitely right now. What did you think of Edmonton when you were with the Rough Riders? Was it always somewhere you wanted to be? Was it somewhere you dreaded playing? What was Edmonton like? I hated playing on the field, but you know what I'm saying? It's, Great place to visit. I, I used to love coming here. The mall, you know what I'm saying, the scenery. The city's big. You got everything from the water to, you know, nice parks. Love it here. going to leave those two to enjoy the rest of their spa day. Join us next week on Out of Bounds when we're back at the Peaches and Cream Spa. Well, those guys seem to be having a really good time. And what I really can't wait for is next week when they get their manicures and pedicures. When you tune in, I guarantee you're going to have a good laugh at that one. Next up, we have our three-minute drill with Patrick Cabongo as he's teaching us how to defend the run block. All right, guys, it's another three minutes drill. I'm Patrick Cabongo from the Edmonton Eskimos. Who we have here? Bryce. Bryce. Chris. Chris. Shane. Shane. Chris. Chase. All right, guys, we today are going to talk about how to defend the run block. So I want you guys to line up. Uh, Shane, I want you here. And um, you come here. Bryce. Chris, you stay there. Uh, and Chase, you stay right there, all right? This is what we're going to do, all right? You're going to be engaged already. So I want you guys to start like this. Engage already. Make sure that your butt is low and you have, and you guys are tight to one another, just like this, all right? On the heart, I want you guys to take a short step and press back the guy, like this. The reason why we do this is because we want to be able to see the running back, if the quarterback is going to pass the ball to make a move, or just, just to be able to read what's, what's coming up. But in this drill, the most important thing, stay low and to be able to have your hand extended like this on his chest so it's not too close and he's not holding you too. You got to be extended, all right? Everybody got that? So start tight, already. Make sure you're low, you're low, you're low, perfect. The, the, the offense here, stay, stay high. You're low, perfect. All right, on my heart, you got to take a short step. And you're going to press him back, all right? Ready, sit, hut. Okay, one more time. What we need here, Chase, let me show you real quick. Take your spot. For you to be here, all right? And on hot. Not to take a too big of a first step because it's going to be unbalanced. No. A short step, bang. And press him back, be able to see. Make sure you're low. All right, let's go again. One more time. Ready, sit, hut. Perfect, perfect. One more time. Now a shorter step. All right. All right, Bryce. Yep. Ready? Stay low, stay low, stay low. Set. Hut. Perfect. All right, guys. That's great, guys. This this how you defend the run block. Thank you very much for watching. Three minutes drill. That's it for this week's episode of the Green and Gold Gridiron Show. Don't forget to join us every Wednesday starting at 4 p.m. on Shaw TV Channel 10. You can also check us out at esks.com and shawtv.ca. Now this Friday, Commonwealth is going to be crazy. That's right, we're taking on the Calgary Stampeders again for the second installment of the Labor Day Classic. It all starts at 8 p.m. and we will see you there. Until next time, go Esks, go!